Tiger families and welcome to the Tiger Update for the week of October 2nd. There's been a lot of great things happening this week. Our first grade students have wrapped up their first set of stories. They've been celebrating the publishing of their small moments writing all of this week. With the beginning of a new month, many of our students have also been revisiting their goals and setting new goals for the month of October. Some of our third grade students have been practicing some hands-on work with finding area and perimeter and our fourth grade kindness crew has been meeting over Zoom so that, the, so that both the in-person and virtual learners can work together on planning some upcoming kindness projects for FES. As we head into phase three, I wanted to share some updates with all of you. These updates can also be found in the FES reopening playbook for families. It's linked in today's Tiger Tales newsletter. Our playbook is a working document. As changes are made, we'll update the document and use red font to help make sure those changes stand out to you. First of all, I know that some of our students will be returning to FES for the first time on Monday with the beginning of phase three. We are so excited to see all of them. Next, as we move into phase three, we continue to have questions about the school hours. As long as there is a virtual only option, we will maintain the school hours that we've been using since the beginning of phase two. The in-person school day will run from 9.45 to 3.15. There's also an update to our attendance policy. As we move to phase three, we'll now only have two modes of instruction, in-person learning or virtual learning. If your child is considered an in-person student but is not present at school, they will be marked absent. They'll still be able to participate in virtual learning, but will be considered absent. If your in-person learner will be absent, please contact us here at school to let us know they, why they won't be here. Students who are required to quarantine or isolate due to COVID positive tests, COVID-like symptoms, or close contact with a COVID positive test will be temporarily moved to the virtual learning mode of instruction for the duration of that isolation or quarantine, so it will not affect their attendance. Finally, our teachers have been hard at work since the beginning of the school year to make sure that each child has the best possible learning experience. We continue to strive for that. Thank you for your understanding as we transition to a new phase. While we feel prepared for the next phase, we may run into some issues and have to adapt. Your teacher will be communicating with you about changes that are happening for your students in their class, both those that are in person and those who are learning virtually. As always, if there's anything that you need from me, please don't hesitate to contact me. I hope that everyone has a wonderful weekend. We look forward to seeing our in-person students on Monday. And remember, it's a great day to be a tiger.